Mm. I love performing at dawn, like at 6 a.m. in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. My friends are the symphony of songbirds at this time. Sun hasn't risen yet. Yeah. Well, okay, you're seven levels down. It's like going down a car park, seven levels down. Whoa, you're way down. What about heat? <laughs> well, fortunately, a characteristic of any large cave, and I ought to know, I lived in one in Greece, uh, it's a constant temperature all year round. About 67 degrees Fahrenheit. So, uh, and besides that, the pale trogs and Omar, you know, you got the 10 person core crew, the guru, and nine disciples. Uh, body heat. Uh, we're warm blooded animals. Isn't that a miracle? We create our own heat. We're 97 degrees. Yeah. Uh, and then they fire up so many hookahs that the flames, because flames leap off, you know, a couple inches, pure red fire. Well, that adds a little warmth. And like I said, they l live luxuriously. They wear lynx robes. Uh, yeah, naked underneath. And uh, Well, last eight years, huh? Pale troglodytes. Never climb to the surface of the earth, ooh, yeah, for the pure light of the sun, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's so dim down there that they're, you know, their their eyes, uh, the capillaries in their eyeballs, they're just splitting up like micro forking London. They take uh, lightning that they can hardly see one another, but, uh, they each have distinctive noses, so they just like, oh, yeah, I know your nose. Um, let's fire up a hookah. Well, oh, well, tell it like it is. If you're not a trog, uh, to the people who live above the ground, you're macabre, weird, frightening. Ooh. And uh, there is a rare visitor, like Sphinx or his father, Tutankhamen, you know. Omar might see one person every month for a, what they call darshan in India, a sitting with a sacred saint. Uh, give darshan, uh, bequeath a rare darshan. Uh, yeah, they get spooked out, too. First, they got to get escorted down. Four tears by Fez Eds, and then Pale Trogs take over. Mm. Well, uh, I was going to tell you the whole history, you know, the day in the life of Omar and his attendant Trogs and the layout and all the details, but uh, that daily life abruptly ended in the dark this morning, 1969. Sphinx is being guided deeper and deeper by Nasrula, the Fed's head. Yeah, he follows that tassel. We oh, uh, deep down into well, first the assembly room, the Sham de Fez, fourth level. Oh, he gets there. Then he's got to transfer out because Fed says oh, they won't go lower, and the Trogs they won't go higher. Uh, so uh, yeah, he 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 hooked up with the Waxen Trog. The lead guide truck, final descent to the seventh level, and, well, he's got these bulging eyes. He holds up a glass-hooded lantern above his head and ushers Sphinx down a pitch-dark passageway. Oh, he's the only one that knows how to get down there. Left, right, which way, up, down, huh? Into the Sanctum Sanctorium, the holiest of holies, private salon. Dustmaster himself, 101 years old, uh, and dusty. He's pressed, he's pressed his last gram of hashish in his lifetime, right now. And, uh, and then he just falls back into his luxurious bed. And uh, he's shrouded in the finest linen, linen from uh, Istanbul. 
it's getting close to a spectacular end. And uh, at this point, the pale ones, well, they've got the branches of the finest marijuana from the Fafilian Plains up on Taurus Mountain overlooking the Turkish River area. They have tender boughs, and they're gently pressing the boughs up and down rhythmically on Omar's body, mm -hmm. chanting, uh, Nargile, Nargile, which means uh, in Afghani, uh, Uga, Uga. well, Sphinx kneels before the bed of his master, and uh, he cocks his ear attentively. Uh, a dusty raises that uh, withered self nod right arm of his, and. Uh, and gives Sphinx the peace sign. Uh, he then takes the hand of his beloved original disciple, frail hand, sighs faintly, My son, you have come as prophesied. Uh, place your ear closer to my lips. Uh, so that I may whisper a few phrases, a few cryptic phrases to liberate you, to enlighten you. Yeah, hashish girl gazes. Mm -hmm. Deeper into the oasis eyes of the Egyptian. And with his last breath, he Enlightens Sphinx. And finally, he whispers, Sphinx, this is my last commandment to you. Dispatch my dead body to balk from Omer's uh, ashy scores lunch comes a macabre exhalation Causing a billowing uh, like a cloud of thick mystery dust obliterates the, the entire chamber. Sanctorium, yeah. Nobody can see a thing. That's when the lights went out for Omar, the dust master. 